back to Golden Acres. Out checking on the pear trees real quick. They're getting close. Turn you around. Oh, and I got distracted by a hummingbird instead. You can see him going around from the hibiscus. There's a boy coming, so he might pick a different spot. All right, back to the pears. As I don't get distracted anymore, you know, for at least the next five seconds. <laughs> So yeah, we got our pear trees. They're a little bit bigger. They are getting close. Oh, well, the baby's gonna try to eat one. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. Oh, she did pull one off. They're still pretty firm. Of course, they soften after you pick them off the tree. So, a little bit longer, and we'll be picking gobs and gobs of these things. If you have a good apple butter, pear butter recipe, I would love to see those recipes. Because I've been researching them, I've never made pear butter before. And they're all different. And I'm like, oh, which one do I want to try first? <laughs> so if you have a tried and true, your one that your grandma makes, happy to hear it. Everybody, I was going to talk to you about my container garden and this is a rubber container that we used in moving and the lid is one of those things that got totally trashed so like you're like it doesn't look too bad but it doesn't seal anymore it's also like one of the five dollar ones so we'll toss the, the trash hi May the cat might come up and say hi I don't know I didn't even know she was under the porch so we're going to use one of the, these containers. We have a couple more that are cheap like this. Hi, kitty. You want to say hi? So we have a couple more like this in this quality that are going to get ahead and get made into containers. And you can see where there's bends in the plastic and stuff. But it doesn't have to be perfect. It has to hold dirt. And the dirt has to hold the water. The bin doesn't have to hold the water. You want to say hi, May? I don't think you guys have seen our other cat, Sunny. Well, if you've on Instagram, I've done a couple reels with Sunny in there. She's very sweet. You're about to get a rude awakening, though. Our dogs are going to come from my mom's dad's. And so she's going to be not hanging out over by where we're going to put their dog houses, which is on a pad that used to be used for a chicken coop. Ow! Oh, kitty claws. Alright, here, here's a box. You fits, you sits. So we're gonna do that. For a couple of mine, you know, ones that have lost lids, because you can't replace lids. They are they're changing constantly. We have some really old, nice, good mermaid containers. But they don't hold anything anymore because they don't have lids or they got bent. So we're gonna do that. I have a partner in crime coming down to follow me. And then we have a few more over here. And I will post videos of where I'm going to fall on a cat. She's gonna trip me. And of course, and I'm still using my phone because all of, all of our stuff still isn't moved. I haven't found my tripods and I haven't found the video recorder. So, just keep choking along, right? As we trip over cats and get some stuff done. I was hoping to have more of this done and like have bought soil and all that stuff for the fall garden. Haven't done that yet. So then we have some containers over here that I want to show you. All right, so these containers are containers I found and I will post a picture where I found them. We started rinsing them out and then it rained too. So, just dump that water. <laughs> That's oddly satisfying. So these were ones that were found. Like, they're good. We gave them a good rinse. 
This one was bent. You'll see that in the video. So Andrew bent it back. And there's more because there are concrete pads out here that are, the weeds are all grown up. So we'll probably find more as we go through. Just like as I just found another one. Back in the wood. Weeds. Not woods. Weeds back there. So we're just like gathering all these containers up. And we're going to make our container garden out of that. And I'm sure there's more back there. And you should, you know, try to recycle. I'm big on reusing. We're just gonna hang out with this cat. Who won't leave me alone. She's the star of this show anyway, isn't she? Well, here's our other cat. Hey, Sonny. I'm gonna walk at this one for a little now. Yeah. So, use what you have, like I was saying. It doesn't have to be expensive, you know. We have to replace a bunch of stuff on our truck. We had to buy a new lawnmower. So, we're not spending money on containers right now. It's just not going to happen. It's just not gonna be possible. Now, the next plan will be to get, get soil up for them. We are talking about pulling soil off the property and amending it. Definitely suggest you buy container garden soil for that, um, rather than amending your own soil. We just happen to have compost that was, is laying around in bags to amend our soil, and they did never scoop horse poop, so there is some overwintered, weathered, composted horse poop already on the property. And then we, yeah, we're just, that's when you just have paid for a few hundred thousand dollar property, then that's what you do. Our future plans to we found our grapes, so I'm going to have to learn how to prune the grapes. They, the weeds have grown up around them like crazy, but they're really starting to ripen. Let's show you guys. So they kind of look like they were pruned this year. But then if you come over here, like, it's just a mess of grapes and weeds. Mighty hunter, look for bugs. So, but like, just bunches and bunches of grapes back there. And then there's, it, technically, that right there over there is on the neighbor's property. Because we share this fence row. So, before we go off and take a bunch, other than like, right here, what's on this side of this fence post, which is ours. 
we will be talking to them. I mean, I definitely would like, you yeah, know, here's another, like, bunch of grapes, just, like, way out. I definitely like to make some jelly this year, because we have this. Hey, Kit Kat. So just tons and tons of grapes. And up at the neighbor's house, they have more grapes. So I'm, I'm hoping they'll be cool with just letting us pull those off. So as I was saying, those are our plans. We are going to research amending the soil a little bit more before we decide on whether we're going to buy soil or not. Also, watch the sales. But when you've had to all of a sudden buy a new lawnmower, and not only do we have to buy a new lawnmower, we have to fix my dad's lawnmower. Because our lawnmower died. And then we borrowed my dad's lawnmower. And it got a major oil leak. And we're one of those people, if it breaks, when we're borrowing it, we fix it. And my dad wouldn't care, you know. He has two lawnmowers, so it's not like he's out anything right now. We can fix it over winter. And he would be like, whatever. But I was like, no, no, we'll fix it. And so we have, we have two broken lawnmowers to fix. We bought a new one to get stuff done. You know, we're trying to clean up the property and even just find that. To find the grapes, Andrew was just weed eating. And it was like, oh, here's the grapes that they were talking about. <laughs> Haven't found the asparagus. Probably mowed it down. Um, so, yeah, we don't, we don't know if we can, you know, reasonably find soil that we can use. Container garden is partially just setting habits. On this property, we will have a garden. That's the fall garden this year. Um, you know, that way it's like, oh yeah, kids are, you know, get up, garden, feed kids, go to school, come back, do a little bit of stuff, go pick them up. So we want those habits set. So that's the most important part of the fall garden this year. Yield, perfect results, none of that is what we're going for. So yeah, and think of anything else that are like immediate plans. Not really. We'll be filling up garden beds, talking about grapes, maybe harvesting grapes and maybe harvesting pears in the next video. But it all depends on how fast things ripen and what we decide to do for soil. Once again, recommend just buying soil not trying to do it your own way the first year. So I want to reiterate that, like do as I say, not as I do. But this year the point of gardening isn't to get yields or to do things perfectly. It is to set habits and to kind of get a routine going because I have a one-year-old and I don't want her naps to necessarily be thrown off next year when we're dropping preschool off and trying to get the garden done and like let's kind of get that habit in her going before winter that way it's easy to jump back into all right now i have two cats at my feet so i'm gonna go because they're gonna trip me because i'm on the phone because that's what cats do they're not necessarily the nicest creatures even though they're so cuddly and cute all right god bless